Hello Taurus and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I'm so happy you're here with me today. Today's reading is going to be for the week of April 5th to the 11th. It's a bonus reading and I felt it was fitting considering we've got a lot of planets transitioning and a lot of things taking place this week. So uh, April 8th, of course, we have the total solar eclipse. This is the lunation that pushes, pushes everyone out of their comfort zones. It's about new beginnings, embarking on some really huge uh, moments of growth, things really starting to transpire for you. But we're also in the middle of a Mercury retrograde. So from April 1st to the 25th, this is when, of course, the, the planet of communication is a little out of whack. Things are not going as, you know, we anticipate them. Communications and confusions sort of seem to be taking place right now. We've also got, of course, Aries season. We've got Venus entering uh, entering Aries. So there's lots of things happening and we will get into those. Please remember this is general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. And if it doesn't resonate, that is okay. Please check out your Venus moon or rising sign. We're going to start by cleansing the space. Thank you again for joining me today, Taurus. We are going to start with your moon energies, and then we're going to get into your other energies, and then we're going to clarify everything. So, Taurus, let's start with your energies that are surrounding you. This is the moon energies. Let's see if there's anything else. That spirit, I'm going to go one more round. Let's see if there's something else that you'd like to share with Taurus. Thank you. So we've got the end of a tough cycle approaches. This is beautiful. So you're coming to some conclusions. You're coming to some ending of cycles. And this is beautiful. Full moon in Capricorn. And you also have the full moon in Leo. It says, don't let pride stand in your way. Don't let pride be the reason why you're not being able to end a tough cycle. Sometimes we have to let down our guard. Sometimes we have to do that in order to really put an end to something. So that's very important energy right now for you. So now let's get your incoming energies. Let's find out what's coming in, uh, in for you currently for the week of the 5th to the 11th for the beautiful sign Taurus. Thank you so much. Anything else you'd like to share? Thank you. So you got number 39, which is the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabrielle. The fifth chakra is our throat chakra, and that is all about communications. So again, you know, with us being in a retrograde period, our communications or all forms of communication seem to be a little out of sync. So either when we're trying to receive messages, they might not be coming in exactly the way that we were hoping that they would come in, or we're just miscommunicating even our own our, our own um, thoughts and our, our own um, communications. Sometimes that happens, you know, again, with confusion, miscommunication, there's snags and schedules, there's delays, things happen when we go through a retrograde. But what we don't take into consideration is the positive aspect of it. And that's what it does allow us to do. It allows us to take a step back. It allows us to rethink things, reevaluate, revisit things, and reassess things that are important in our life. And, that, and that's what really helps us to prepare ourselves for growth and movement once that planet goes direct on April 25th. 27, number 27, walking away the gateways. You are walking away from something that you feel has kind of served its time. It's that end of a tough cycle. It's approaching and you're able to walk away from it. You are seeing that on the other side of this beautiful gate, you're seeing butterflies. You're seeing that transformation take place. You're ready for that. You're ready to communicate that. And when the time is right, after that Mercury retrograde, you will start to feel that sense of knowing what direction you need to go in. And then you also got number 43, which is man holding coin. And remember, we don't do gender here. I just read the cards for the way that they are. This definitely could be your energy, Taurus. You are very much about planning for the long term. You want to make sure that your financial resources, your investments, everything that is important to you, family, all of that, everything, your health, all of those things that are 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 the things that, that you know, long term you want to make sure you've protected. It's the benefits of those things. This is your energy. It's you really communicating what it is you need to let go of so that you can end that tough cycle. But don't allow your pride to stand in the way because it's only going to prevent you from being able to walk away and release what you need to release. So very important energy. 
So we've got the Moonology cards, which of course is for the moon. Now let's do the light. Uh, this is the uh, Work Your Light Oracle cards. Let's find out what the message is. There we go. We got two right away. So you got Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, a divine plan. So this is, again, laying foundations. You are all about really protecting your long-term, what's important to you long-term. Now, that, of course, is it can be financial. That can be your job, your career. It can be your family. Again, it can be your health. And it's really, really kind of for preparing this divine plan. You're seeding the light. You're planting the seeds to grow something that's going to really bring stability and that strength of foundation in your life. That's beautiful energy. Walking away from things that were tough, walking away from things that, you know, um, were, were not... Um, just where it is just not where you want to be you want to move in a new direction and you're ready to transform you also got the priestess how are you being called to step up and lead so you are the one that is going to take the lead in this you are the one that maybe is expected to take the lead in this it's all about again that divine plan and laying those foundations and you taking the lead and how you are able to bring all of this into fruition so let's get into the into the um, into the tarot cards because these this is what's going to really help us understand a little bit more what's going on with these energies. So spirit angels and guides for the beautiful sign Taurus for April fifth to the eleventh. We're going to do the end of a tough cycle and don't let pride stand in your way. What can you tell us? What would you like to share with us? Perfect. Okay. So the first card is number five. So, you know, this tough cycle that is approaching and it's coming to an end, this is a good thing. But in the midst of it, there seems to be a little bit of conflict. Now, it can be healthy competitive con con uh, conflict, but nevertheless, it's conflict that you need to resolve. You do not want to continue down this path. You really want to see this cycle come to an end. And there seems to be a delay. Now, this is the, the hanged man. Number 12, Major Arcana. This is, again, delays, and that has a lot to do with, again, the Mercury retrograde that we are, you know, kind of interfaced with right now. Um, it's really, because we are seeing some delays, you know, it's, it's really making it hard to really um, put a close to this tough cycle. It is coming, though. We have to be, we have to remember that positive aspect of it, that this doesn't last forever. Mercury is going to go direct on April 25th, and it's going to release a lot of things. In the process of all of this, in the process of this conflict or this disagreements that are going on, and sometimes we need to get into the heat of a matter in order to bring it to a, to an end as well. Sometimes it's important. It's It's kind of that last step to really break the communications, to really feel like, like now we know what page we're on because you might be able to see the whole situation from a different perspective and you're allowing yourself to do that. You're taking the time out to actually, you know, really figure out what that, what that light is. You're really trying to see again, this whole situation from different perspective. And you got the King of Wands energy. Now this could be your energy or it could be a supporting energy or it could be, again, don't let pride stand in your way. Maybe it's somebody of Leo energy because King of Wands is definitely um, um, fiery energy, which would include a Leo. So if there is a Leo in your life, they could be letting their pride stand in the way. And it's making it really difficult because it's causing some conflict. And that conflict is what is, you know, you're trying your best to understand that there are some delays and that you can't rush to make any decisions right now. As much as you want this end, um, you want to end that tough cycle that's, that's happening, you know that you have to go through some transformations and you are willing to look at things from a different perspective. You're very grounded. You, you know what? You are someone who is really trying to lay those foundations. You're really trying to build a sense of stability. But I really feel like this King of Wands energy could be the person that's causing a little bit of the conflict. But you are the one that's willing to say, hey, let's take a step back. I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit here. And I'm going to look at this whole situation from a different perspective because I want this cycle to end. And I no longer want to be going down this path. So let, that brings us to the communication and walking away from a situation so that you can start laying the groundwork for really building up your investments, building up the things that are important to you. And a lot of the times that's not only monetary things, that can be those things like family and health and, you know, our community, the things that are really important to us, our job, our work, our security. 
very important. You're going through a major transformation. Number 13, death. This is all a huge transformation. It's the end of an old cycle. And we have to end these cycles. And this is what I love because you're, it's the end of a tough cycle approaches. And here we are going to see that communications are going to open up and you're going to feel this sense of freedom. You're going to feel that sense that now is the time for me to walk through that gate. I'm opening up the gateways to my abundance, to my transformations. We've got the butterflies here. And those butterflies are exactly what depicts the death card. It's the transformation of new energy ending an old cycle wow beautiful so now we've got this seeding the light again planting the seeds and laying down the foundations you're really planning out your moves you're really planning out what you need to bring all of that all of that, that long-term success you are working on to really bring that into a sense of completion and and it's asking you uh, how you are being called to step up to lead because you are the one who leads this. You are taking the lead. You are the one that's going through these major transformations. You're the one that's taken the time out to really see things from a different perspective. And it's allowing you to really put your plans into motion. So for some of you, it could be work, work related. And or some of you, it could be personal things related as well. But no matter what here, number three, the three of pentacles here is all about really working in a teamwork. It's really... Again, it's like collaborating with somebody to really help bring things to the next level. Some of you could be, you know, um, really educating yourselves, really re-educating yourselves. You're really mastering what you're doing. You're gaining more knowledge. You're gaining, again, a deeper perspective for something. This is something that requires group effort. But you are the one that is taking the lead. It says, how are you being called to step on lead? You are being called to step up to lead because these people are looking up to you. They're looking up to you to help them make decisions. So again, it could be something to do with a family matter that, you know, there's a little bit of conflict going on and you're really trying to see it from a better perspective. You're communicating the things that you want and you are ready for this transformation to take place. You're ready to let go and embark on something new and plant the seeds again for some stability in your life long term and then you got number seven the chariot this is major arcana card it represents cancer if that means anything to any of you the cancer card is definitely um the i'm sorry the chariot card is really about you taking the reins you are taking the lead here you are making your plans of victory you are intuitively in touch with your spirituality. You are listening to your spirit guides and you are moving forward on your chariot. You are in control of it. You are in control of which direction you go. And, and it is about a sense of victory. And you are going to feel that. You're going to feel a sense of freedom there. You're going to really feel like things are starting to transform for you. So let's tie your entire reading together with your angel messages. Let's find out what spirit angels and guides would like to share with you. So for Taurus, what are the messages that you would like to share with the beautiful sign Taurus as we move through April 5th to the 11th? What else would you like to share? Anything else? Any other messages? Oh boy. I'm going to take that one for sure. All right. That's the last one. So the first one was the Ace of Ariel. This is beautiful energy. So it's your lucky day. New resources of money. Again, that is that man holding a coin. You're really planning out and setting, uh, laying down, you know, what it is to create this strong financial foundation for yourself. So it's your lucky day, new resources of money, time, and support are on its way here. A change in a job or promotion. So again, for some of you, it really could be redirecting um, your direction, uh, you know, taking control of your chariot, taking control, taking the lead to move in a different direction, walking away from something. Now, maybe it's walking away from a job. And uh, you know what? You're gaining new skills. You are gaining new skills because you are a master at what you do. And now people are looking to you for some guidance because you are the one that holds all of that knowledge. For some of you, you could even be getting more certificates. You could be going back to school to really gain more knowledge as well. But you have got an opportunity here that's coming into play and it's really bringing about those new resources for you. Now you also got number four, the emperor, Archangel Uriel. 
This is all about stability and efficiency. The emperor rules Aries and we are in Aries season. Aries are very headstrong and they are all about taking control of situations. And they are very much a cardinal sign. And so is Cancer. That's taking charge and taking the lead as well. They want to move forward with their plans. But you have to be careful sometimes how you communicate things, especially in a Mercury retrograde, because sometimes our words can be harsh. So it's really important to be mindful of your actions and your words at this time. Try and have some patience because you are building long-term stability and efficiency for yourself. You're taking charge of a situation. Absolutely. You are taking the lead right here. Ambitious plans. Once the Mercury retro retrograde is over, you are going to move forward. And you're moving forward with divine guidance. This is absolutely gorgeous, this card. This actually in the major arcana would depict the, the, depict the Taurus energy. So divine guidance, Archangel Sandolphin. The search, of, uh, search for the meaning in life. So you're searching for that meaning. You're considering an alternative approach. You're surrounding yourself with wise teachers and friends. You're surrounding yourself with people. Again, you're collaborating. That three of pentacles could be collaborating with other people as well. But you know, you definitely are, um, you are definitely, you have that wisdom. Whether you're looking for wisdom in somebody, you also have that wisdom within you as well. You're very committed, a very commit, very much commitment. And you're committed to your morals and values. You stand strong on those. And they are a very important part of your everyday. Beautiful energy. So now to end your reading, Taurus, let's get your angel number and the oracle message that's attached to it. So spirit, angels, and guides. What is the angel number for Taurus? There we go. And I'm just going to keep going in case there's another one. Yeah. Okay. So the first one you got was 555, change. Change is in the air. Change is happening. So a transformative change is on the horizon. This new turning point in your life is divinely guided and inspired. During this spiritual journey, it is important to maintain a positive and grounded outlook and let go of old habits and beliefs that no longer serve you. This could be the dawn of a whole new you. Big transformations are taking place. You're walking away. You're ready for change. You're ready for transformation. And you also got number 100, inner knowing. Again, we talked about wisdom here with that divine guidance. You have that inner knowing yourself. Your heart is a wise and sacred portal to the divine, a place where wisdom and intuition reside. Through stillness and introspection, you can tap into the limitless well of knowing within you. This connection with your true self will guide you towards your highest path and purpose. So you got two beautiful angel numbers here, number 555, so watch for that, as well as number 100. Both of these numbers are important as you move through the, the week of April 5th to the 11th. You may see these angel messages come up, and if you do, those are, those are your angels trying to get your attention to let you know they have a message for you. They're there to guide you. They're there to listen if you even just want to reach out and talk. That is all I have for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you did find parts of it resonate, please leave comments. I love to read them. Please also consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. It costs nothing to subscribe, and I appreciate the love and support. Until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.